everybody, I am Nico D. So today I'm gonna show you how to install Open Media Vault on your ARM SBC with Armbian Buster. So we need Armbian Buster for this because Open Media Vault is built for Debian. So Open Media Vault is a web interface that makes it easy to configure your network settings. You can do a lot with it. I'm gonna use it to make a Samba share. You can easily do that with Armbian Server, but I'm gonna use OMV for it to show you how to do it. So I'm gonna use the Oldroid HC4 for this. This can work on any SBC, but of course the Oldroid HC4 is perfect for this because it has two SATA ports, so it is ideal to use as a network attached storage device. So the first thing we need to do of course is download Armbian Buster mainline. So the legacy, the SATA doesn't work yet for the Oldroid HC4, so it is best to use a mainline image. So then we need to write this image onto our SD card. So you can use whatever you want for this. So Win32 Disk Imager or Balina Etcher. I am on Linux so I like to use the GNOME Disk Utility. I don't care what you use. And some others will say I shouldn't use GNOME Disk Utility. But I do. So once that is done all we need to do is put the SD card in our board. I also connect the Ethernet cable from my router to my Oldroid HC4. And I turn it on. And now I go to my NanoPi M4 version 2, my main desktop computer. And I open my router page to see the IP address of my Oldroid HC4. So here I see the IP address of my HC4 is 192.168.1.7. So I open a terminal window and I log into it with SSH. So sudo ssh root add 192.168.1.7 and the password is 1234. Now we type two times a new password. And we create our user accounts. And first thing to do as always is of course apt updates. There are no packages to update, so that's good. We don't need to do sudo apt upgrades. If you do have packages to upgrade, then do so. Now we've created our user, so now we are gonna reboot and log in with our user. So for me, Nico D. Okay, we are back on the Oldroid HC4. So now all we need to do is sudo armbian config. Then choose software. Here we go to softy. There OMV. So press the spacebar so it is selected. And press enter to install it. Now I open a second terminal window. I again log in with SSH here. And here I open htop. This is pretty important. When the installation of OMV is ready, you will not see it because it changes the IP address. So it logs out. That's why I use HTOP. With HTOP I can see if I'm still logged in or not. So it takes about 20 minutes to install. So just be patiently and watch if HTOP has crashed. If nothing moves anymore in HTOP, then you know that the installation has finished. So I again go to my router page and look for the IP address. Now it is .2 instead of .7. So I select the IP address and I select go to. And here we are in OMV. So the default login is admin and the password is open media vault, all lowercase. So the first thing we are gonna do is change the O2 logout. So now it is 5 minutes, so that means when you don't do anything for 5 minutes you will be locked out. So I don't want that. I will put it at 1 day. So we click save and then apply. You always have to do this when you change something. And next thing we are gonna do is change our password. So for that we go to web administer password. Here we two times type our new password. We again click save. Now let's go to the update manager and see if there are any updates. So you can click here on check and then it checks if there are any updates. There are no updates right now. The next thing is plugins. So here you can install different plugins 
and we can add some so if we go to omv-extras.org so we copy this and we again open a terminal and we log in with ssh with root so now we paste this command in here and we execute it so this downloads a bit more plugins for omv some are very handy so when that is finished we again go to omv plugins and here we can select some plugins that we want to install so the one i want is here reset perms 5.0 so you select it and you click on install and you wait until it's installed this is very handy when the permissions on your hard drive are a bit messed up you can use that to reset them all so when you cannot write on a hard drive, then you can use that. So now let's start setting up our shared folders and our Samba share. So here you can see that SMB is not enabled. So the first thing we will do is we go to disks. Here you can see my both hard drives and also my SD cards. So I've got a hard drive of 500 gigabytes and one of 1.5 terabytes. So that's okay. If you would like to erase your hard drives, then you click wipe here. So now let's go to file systems. So here again, you see my 500 gigabyte hard drive and my 1.5 terabyte hard drive. So these must be mounted. So we click on the drive and we click on mount. And now we can use them. So next we go to shared folders and here I add one, so one that's called games and I select my 500 gigabyte hard drive and the paths I do just slash. That means that it can read the whole hard drive and not just a folder. If you just want a folder, you can type the name of the folder there. So this is my first shared, I apply and then seconds I make another shared. And this one is for my second drive, for my 1.5 terabyte drive, so I call it backup. And I select my second drive, and again from the root of the drive, and not from a folder. I get an error, no worries, it still works, don't know why. So apply, yes. Now we've got this, now we can go to SMB. So here first I enable SMB, and I click save. And apply and here I again add two SMB shares so again one for backup so I select the shared folder backup everything is okay save and apply and then a second Samba share for my games so I again select the games shared folder I give comments games SMB and I save that and again apply now there is one more thing we need to do to be able to log in to that with a Windows computer or an Apple computer or a Linux computer, doesn't matter. We of course need to make our user account. So there is one created here, but I still have to add the passwords. So we go to user and here I've got my NicoD user, but I will add my passwords. So two times type my passwords and again click save. And that is all I need to do to create my Samba share. If I now open the file manager and I go to browse networks and there windows network, then work group. There you can see my old Roid HC4. If I go in there, you see my games folder with all my games and also the other one backup. So that's it. Now I can access the hard drives of my system on my whole network. So you can do a lot more with OMV. Maybe I will show that in a later video, but I will keep it at this for today. So thank you all for watching, I hope you all like my video, see you all later and bye!